Hey guys, today we'll be doing an unboxing of the FYS ETC. Um, I think this is a clone, a 3D printer for the uh, Perusa. So it's a Perusa clone. Now the guy said he would send it to me and it arrived a couple months ago. Sorry about that. It's just been sitting, I didn't have time. But today I'm gonna go ahead and finally unbox it. Let me just go ahead and take all these parts out one by one and then show you what's in it. And I th I'm thinking this is the printer. Comes with a filament, orange filament, high pricey filament. Okay, I'm probably not gonna use it. It's a PETG, they actually send you PETG, which is nice. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this. We got a power module, all right. This one is uh, also HS. So you get 24 volts, 10 amps. 24 volts, 10 amps. Okay, it's fine. Um, let me go ahead and put this on the side. And we've also got the bed here. Um, just like a Prusa. Now I got this as a free sample because I actually ordered another kit, but that was the wrong kit. So they offered to send it to me, so I offered to do a free review. And plus I need a printer anyway. Um, I'm printing out a bunch of TPU stuff and I actually need a bunch of more printers. But if I can do it, uh, if this can print just as well as my original Prusa, um, I might get a couple more of these. So yeah, just like the Prusa, we got a nice heat bed. It, it looks same. <laughs> I'm not sure about the performance, but we'll find out. And yeah, so it's actually on the M it says Prusa, so maybe it does use uh, the original heat bed, even though it's a clone. Cool. And you're gonna also need, you're gonna also get aluminum frame. All right. Uh, you got the hot end here, generic hot end. I don't know, maybe this is the only part you have to replace. We'll see, maybe it works just fine. You got all the parts you need here. Ooh, comes with an extra two. Um, you got some nice bearings, linear bearings. Oh, this is, it's been a while since I built my last Prusa printer. Um, so this is going to be fun. Probably a lot faster. You got blower fans, fans for the hot end, uh, wires, sensor, filament sensor. You've got, uh, the the thing, the probe. Um, so everything looks good, good in order. Pretty, pretty interesting. You got the, um, let's check out this one. Does it actually come with the Raspberry Pi? Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi. Yeah, it comes with the full Raspberry Pi. Oops, I don't know which version this is. No, this is not a Raspberry Pi. What the hell is this? Oh, this is just the this is the control module uh, for your Prusa clone. Clone. We'll leave that alone for now. Clone alone. Leave the clone alone. There we go. Um, you got the thing for the hot end. Thermometer. Not thermometer. What do you call it? So I've been staying in Korea too long. Losing my English. It's been a year. Um, you've also got. You've also got LCD. Yep. Fistec LCD. Fi. I don't know how to say it. Fise. I feel like I say it Fistec, but it's F I F Y S E T C. So you got nice LCD. Everything pretty much looks same as a Prusa printer. Um, yeah, you got that. Ooh, nice. You got the USB cable. I actually need one. Yes, USB 2.0 cable. Bunch of jumper cables. 
Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and probably build this from scratch, obviously. And you got a whole another box here. Motors, just like Prusa. These motors are branded, no brand. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Take me maybe a few hours to build. Um, also, you got the frame. Oops, oops, thanks. Uh, heavy duty, heavy duty frame. Okay. And you got the frame here, so we're all ready to go. I think I got all the parts that I made. And you probably got the, the rails thingies here. Rails thingies here. Yeah. The steel rails. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this and see if it prints just as well as my original Perusa. And yeah, you got extra parts here. And I'll have another video, but looks like everything came good. Uh, thanks again, FYSETC, uh, for sending me a free sample because I actually ordered the wrong one, but uh, I'm gonna definitely build it and give you guys a full review, uh, not biased. But I, I need a bunch of printers. If it does work out, I might actually order a few more of these because I'm I'm actually in, going into production for some of my new designs. But yeah, looks looks like everything's in order. Pretty good kit. Um, this is <laughs> I'll have to build it first. Uh, but uh, you know, it, it looks like very pretty much same as the original Prusa. Um, so yeah, it looks very exciting. Um, the only thing I would say that's sort of a, I'm not sure on is the hot end. We'll see how it works. Uh, if, that, if it does work fine, that's fine. Um, we'll see how it prints because I have it. I have my other printers printing optimized TPU 200 uh, M. Per, sorry, my English is getting so bad here. 200 at 200, you know, MS. Um, is that millimeters per second? <laughs> <laughs> meters per second um, anyway pretty cool stuff I'm gonna build this and I'll have a updated video of the build um, maybe just like a quick time-lapse and then later on I'll have another like more detailed videos if you guys want um, but uh, this is gonna be my second time building a Prusa this time obviously with the clone sorry too much talking have a great day um, thanks again FISETC everything looks in order and I'll have another video of assembly and also a final review. Thank you guys. Have a great day. And subscribe.